Yeah, so I'm walking the duct and it's been about 38 minutes and I'm fishing with this new Johnny Morris setup with the KMB 130 lure. I'm casting out as far as I can, just a little over halfway of the aqueduct and I'm burning back the lure as fast as I can, but just with a steady, a steady pace, just burning it back, burning it back, burning it back. And a lot of times these stripers will chase and they'll hit it. Check out this bite right here. Boom, fish on baby. Fish on baby. And that's, a good that's one. it, you know? And uh, you know, I gotta kinda get this fish up the ramp as fast as I can. I try not to drag it, you know? I got much love and respect to the striped bass. So I try to get it up as fast as I can. Yes sir, baby. You know? And uh, get it unhooked. You see it comes off here. Try not to let it go back in the water. And, uh, you know, take it up and uh, get my measurement and uh, get my picture in. And right now I'm just doing catch and release, so. Yeah. There it is there. I knew it was about 18 inches right there just by holding it, by looking at it. 18, baby. Just a little over 18. Out here at the aqueduct, you know. Another catch and release, baby. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Out here fishing the aqueduct, you know, and uh, I fished from all the way to that, from that bridge. And I got my first bite, my first hookup. And it's about 39 minutes in. So, and I just want to say, for all those that uh, kind of, you know, get mad because we have to drag the striped bass on the concrete ramp here. And then once we're done throwing them back in, you know, we're kind of launching them back in the water. What you can see, as soon as that striped bass hit the water, it was good to go. And uh, if I do catch and release, I don't keep them out the water that long. I just take my picture, do my measurement and throw them back in. So, any fish can get it. Let's go. Yeah, out here at the California Aqueduct, doing a duck run. And uh, I just released a YouTube video of me fishing the duct. And I'm out here again. I've been on the striper hunt again. And uh, I was on the largemouth bass hunt for a while, you know. And uh, I caught that big largemouth bass on that topwater frog. And I said, okay, it's time to... Uh, put the bass set up away, the largemouth bass set up away and start fishing the ducks. And uh, I came across this lure right here and it's by uh, Kiss My Bass 661. You can find them on uh, Instagram, you can find them on uh, YouTube. And uh, I sent him one of my Any Fish Can Get It t-shirts. He sent me this uh, lure here, check it out. It's got that chartreuse, got the bone, it's got the red eyes. And it only it only dives down maybe like I mean, four feet. So it's like a subsurface bait. And uh, right here, I just got a regular knot on here. Usually I use a angler's uh, tactical angler clip. But uh, I caught two fish today. One was a keeper. It was just a little over 18 inches. The other one was a shaker. And uh, But these stripers in the aqueduct, they love this lure. I can cast it uh, about halfway little over halfway across the aqueduct and just get that steady uh, wind that retrieve back and they'll hit it sometimes close to the bank or they'll hit it about maybe 10 feet from the from the bank and um, yeah so uh, it's a great lure y'all uh, go check it out you know support small business go ahead, go ahead and buy this lure and uh, try fishing it for striped bass